Okay, here we are, uh, Sunday afternoon, ready for lunch with Team Galliana with Secure, as we should be beating towards uh, the Fastnet Rock and uh, the big disappointment you can see behind me. We dismasted Galliana last night after a 12-hour washing machine beat down the Solent and through the needles before Portland Bill current was against the wind and the uh, sea is really steep. Coming down one way there was a big crash against the wave and then the next crash was the mast coming down. It was dark already, half, half past 10 or 11. So the classic shout, all hands on deck, was, was given. I'm proud of my young team being able to act in an efficient way in, in this kind of a situation and some of them were seasick already before the incident uh, because the beat down the Solent was perhaps the toughest beat I have ever had in my life. Washing machine is no exaggeration, it was raining and water flying but then after losing the rig, uh, the movement of the boat changes and most of the people were seasick but still capable of of systematic action and we were divided into three teams and I'm, I'm very happy that the mast came down at, at the level of first spreaders this this is the swage uh, wire ending uh, which is which is broken with the team we were able to to pull the mast out of the water it was hanging on the side there with the whole mainsail. I'm an old school sailor, so one important thing today was that when we came back through Solent and past Royal Yacht Squadron, uh, we, we, we fire, fired a, a shot uh, outside the castle to to tell them that we are we are back in town, <laughs> safe and sound. And I've been telling my team that in 1985, Simon Le Bon used Fast and Race also as a, a dress rehearsal or shakedown race for the Whitbread race. And, and instead of losing mast, he lost the keel and the boat went upside down and still they made it to the starting line. And, and so will we.